What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Austin Reed Show. I am Zio back here playing Grounded. So we're here just up on the top of my building and just checking out some stuff. And one thing I did want to notice before we start today. So I've noticed that a lot more grass is starting to like brown and there's a lot more leaves on the ground and everything. I don't know if that just updates in the game or if it's because if you notice the tree is starting to turn red too. So it's like it's beginning to get fall. And of course here, especially on like today I'm recording, it's gotten real cold out. So definitely feel Feels like fall now and I mentioned it in the last episode I don't know if I ended up cutting the part out or anything or heck if it was even in the part I didn't get recorded in that last episode but I mentioned that I wonder if the like environment's going to change with the seasons that we're experiencing here in the U.S. like you know it's starting to get fall so there's just, uh, leaves starting to change leaves are falling at more constant rain of course not really seeing any now but usually when I'm playing I just see leaves fall randomly and I think, always think it's like the bird or something but if like we'll get snow eventually and stuff that would all be very cool um, but I'm here at my base and so after the last episode I got the wall all constructed and it seems to be doing its job I've not had a single ant break into any of my cases I've put some stuff in the cases specifically to try and get oh we got a ladybug coming in on us trying to specifically get uh, get it so that uh, ants will get into my chest and stuff and they haven't I've kind of upgraded up here so I put the new bed with all the feathers I've been gathering have a storage chest in here of stuff I want to get out because I definitely want to craft something up real quick but I have a plan for stuff today it's to try and get like um, to me what would be more kind of like the in-game type stuff of doing the big bad thing and that's finally killing a wolf spider so that's what my whole goal is for today but to do this I want to be able to craft up stuff so I want to craft the ladybug armor but let's find work gear so I think the only piece I need is the headpiece. So we need ladybug heads and parts and then berry leather. So let's look in here. So we got four berry leather. So just the right amount. So I'll have to gather more of that eventually. Um, and I killed some ladybugs, especially with the new mint mount. So I was able to get three heads. So I killed three ladybugs, got three heads. So perfect amount for that. Now let's go in here and we should be able to now craft up that. There we go. So we should now have all the pieces. Let's go ahead and store that berry leather back in there. Put the ladybug parts and everything back in there and so we should be able to now go it looks like it's starting to get nighttime i wasted too much time throughout the day um but let's go get our armor pieces there get all that go ahead and put our acorn armor back in our chest area so we have that that we can We'll have to remember to put it on now before we do anything. And then I went ahead and crafted up a bunch of arrows because I'm going to go after the first wolf spider I want to go for is the one that's in the leaves. And I know where it's at. It's not too far from the base. I've stumbled across it multiple times. So I'm ready to fight. So hopefully that is enough arrows because I know obviously it takes uh, quite a bit to kill them. Um, so hopefully it's enough. I've crafted up some bandages. I've got the green machines going. Got some food pieces there in case I don't want to eat any of that but I should be good there oh yeah I just got it. but let's go ahead and put our ladybug armor on see what it looks like so it's got blocking strength um, so I think overall it's got some strength but the blocking is better even though I'm absolutely horrible at blocking but that's why I want the ladybug because it's supposedly like the strongest armor set and I only have I may have to store something away because I want to make sure I have plenty of room to get the pieces because I don't know what all they drop. So I want to make sure so I'll probably clear out maybe a set of um, these acorn bits or something. So what time is it? So it's 619. So it is starting to get late. What's it look like outside? The sun's starting to go down. I may go ahead and wait until the morning just so it's you know bright and early not have to worry about it. I was like I hear that ladybug. It's right over there. It's fighting with something. Not exactly sure. But yeah, if you can see, I got the fence all put up. It wasn't too bad. I didn't have to like travel too far just to find all the weed stems and they grew back and everything. The only thing is I tried to cut down a bunch of the grass and I put my pallets over here under this piece. And so I filled them up and I don't want really more than that because I probably won't be using much more unless I do some little expansions. But I don't really need to on the base or anything. That's why I still just have grass just laying here because it won't fit on the pallets. But I've cleared it out and it's already just, you know, pretty much all grown back again. So pretty pointless overall. So I'll wait till morning and I will bring it back at that point and I will see you then. Well, good morning, everybody. So we're going to go off now to kill our spider. But before we do, let's make sure we got um, go ahead and do all our food. So that should fill us up. Yeah, pretty much on food. 
Let's get our drinks of water here. So we should be good with that. So let's now go hunt us down a wolf spider. So like I said, should not be too far from here. Hopefully I don't run into anything else. But I was mentioning with like the grass, so see we got the dry, dry grass chunks. Like there seems to be more than normal. There's these giant leaves now sticking off that plant. So just all sorts of stuff. But this uh, spider place isn't too far. So we have the hot dog thing over here. I've not seen any food. I feel the food like lays about in here somewhere. But I've not really ever seen any of the food. And then the, I think it's just pretty empty under here. So there's the thing right there. So hopefully there's no other spiders around that I have to deal with. Sometimes, you know, spiders do wander around a bit. So let's go ahead and pull out our air. I'm going to hit all the wrong buttons. So I need to remember that my mint mount is on two. So if I'm ever need to, if he comes out and this doesn't get stuck anymore, I know it's on two. So let's, uh, so there it is. So hopefully we can just sit here and kill it through this thing. Hopefully I said no other spiders will come up and attack us or anything. Try to make sure we're good on stamina. We'll be able to hopefully pick up all these arrows. And just keep an eye out around us. Because like I said, just want to get a pretty easy first one here. That orb weaver's coming closer. So he's half health now. So we're halfway there. This isn't going to be too bad. I actually have more strength than I thought it would. I thought this would take a lot more stuff. Now if only there were many more spiders like this that were all caught and everything that we could easily kill to get this. Because all the other wolf spiders are pretty free roaming. So we don't get that much luck. So it's just a few more hits and it's dead. Our stamina come back up. Looks like one more hit. There we go. It is down. We killed our very first wolf spider, and I'm hitting the wrong buttons. I said two, and I hit three. There's the orb weaver right there. Hopefully, it'll just ignore us. Let's get down inside here. Let's go ahead and claim our wolf spider part. So we got sp two spider fangs and spider venom, which is good. It's what we want. Now we gotta pick up all our airs and one right up on top. Let's see how full. So yeah, we only have one spot, but we got our spider fang. Let's go ahead and look at the craft. Uh, is it under? We got the venom arrow unlocked. Um, I don't know where it would be at. I don't know where. Um, let's go with tools. There we go. Spider fang dag. Oh, it only it only takes one. And we need spider venom. We have four, which I know we already have some. We got two there. Oh, we should be able to make it because that has been really good as well. That because they kind of buff some stuff, it works really fast. It's not as strong as the mint mallet, but because of the way it's modified and everything, it works really well. So that is really cool. So let's go and get and kill this orb weaver. Don't want to get too far over here because this is where more orb weavers are. So obviously we want to avoid those. Dang it. It's not blocking too well. Thought I killed it for a second when it went down. There we go. Our inventory's full, but we don't really need the orb weaver stuff. Except for vitam spider venom. Oh. It's weird, uh, because usually you get spider venom. Spider chunk. Which we don't need, but the venom we could have used. So yeah, like I said, I'm afraid there's something else moving over there, which looks to be like an orb weaver. So I'm going to run back to the base, craft up that thing now, and then we'll test that out. Because I obviously know there's more uh, wolf spiders around different places. So I'll try that out. And like I said, I'm probably going to die, which I'm surprised I haven't died before in this game. It's like quite surprising, actually, how much I haven't died in this game. 
but I always try to just be super careful and patience and everything. Um, but yeah, we'll get back to the base, craft that up, and then I'll go find a wolf spider, which like I said, I know where a couple are out in the open and everything, and then we'll test it out on that, and then we may try just the mint mallet itself too, just to see what we can do, uh, kind of just test each weapon out and everything. So I will get to work on that, and I will see you then. Okay, so let's go ahead and craft up this thing. Where's the tools? I always forget where it's located. And I went ahead and analyzed the thing and I got the insect bow too, which is what I want. So I need two spider fangs for that, which of course, once I make the uh, dagger, I'll only have one. So that's why I need to kill more, but let's go ahead and do the spider dagger and we got it there. So we've got that, awesome. Let's go ahead and store the rest of this stuff away because we don't need that anymore. And there we've got the dagger. Um, yeah, we'll stick the to go to course up there and we got the dagger. So we need to test this thing out too Which I do believe the dagger also works as a tier 2 tool. So it may be able to switch out our insect uh, Thing as well, which I just did that wrong thing. It goes down here So let's go ahead and hit one. So there we've got the dagger. Let's go into there You can kind of see it doesn't really look too great, but it moves really fast and you can block still so you can do all those swings and barely uses any stamina and then block. So let's go, let's go ahead and try it. So that's still three chops, but does it a lot faster. So that is awesome. So oh, we're doing really good. So let's see, I think I should be good with everything. I may go and store that away. Um, now I haven't tried that on everything to make sure exactly that it, you know, that we can completely replace the insect axe but um we have it anyways um actually let's go i should have plenty of inventory space i cleared out yeah um i'll go ahead and prepare to do that weed killer peak thing i have the gas max yeah i made it down in here so i'll put that on so i can go in there because where i know there's a wolf spider pretty open is right over in like this direction because i kind of did some exploring and i found one over there so i thought it'd be kind of cool to uh, try out on that. See if we can catch this aphid and try it on it. Uh, it didn't kill it in two hits. Well, exploded itself probably because of the venom in it. Okay. Oh, I thought this right here looked like a stink bug. Kind of freaked me out for a second. Okay, well, I'm going to run over, find that wolf spider, and I will be right back once I found it. Hopefully I don't come across any stink bugs or anything. Okay, so we have the wolf spider right here in front of us. And gosh, I'm getting so many chills. So on the map, of course, it's just right at the very edge. So it's like where all the rocks is for over like the bench area. And then you kind of can't go that further unless you get up there and everything. Um, I'm trying to think what I want to, if I want to do the mint mallet first, just to see how many hits and everything it'll take. Let's go ahead and just try and get it out here. Because I want to get it out over here. So if I die... I can you know, come back pretty easily and get my items. So that's who. Not doing too well. It's kind of going through me though. There we go. So not too bad, but you could see how it kind of worked there. Ooh, get that. I was trying to get that, but we got our spider chunks, though. So now I need to find another one. So let's heal up. I got uh, some eight bandages, so go ahead and do that. Is there anything back in here now that we've cleared that out? Oh, I didn't know you could go back. I just assumed this was like the complete edge of the map. I didn't realize, oops, I just swung for no reason. I didn't realize there was more, oh, you there you can see the construction beyond this point. So you can usually go back in there, but you, you know, it's not recommended to like build anything back in there. But let's go ahead and switch to the spider thing because yeah, I'm all healed up now. So in case we come across any more wolf spiders and I'll start making my way to the gas so I can plant that marker down. Okay, so I've kind of made it over here to the edge. I have not found any more wolf spiders, so I don't know if I just killed the only one that's over here or I've just been missing them or something, but let's go ahead and put our gas mask on. So I assume we just have to equip it like that. So we should be pretty good to go. And I do know there's those like infected bugs like I got attacked by before. So we'll go ahead and pull our arrows out. A bug right or a bug a plant right there to get more arrow things if I need them. 
Now, I'm not exactly sure where I need to go. I could prob probably run into spider over here, more than likely. But I don't know if they've got to get up top there. And plant a th flag thing. I don't know for sure. It's really hard to see. So I assume I gotta get up on this thing somehow. Can't jump to there. And we made it. Okay, let's see if we can jump up on this thing and try to get up to this peak. Oh, there we go. Hopefully it's up here. Oh, it's probably over on that thing. Because that's where it was, over by the tree. But we'll climb up here just to see at least what it says or shows. Oh no, there it is right there, I think. Thank God I have everything to do it. And we did it. So we can set a marker. There, I went ahead and put a skull as the marker on it. But here you can see so much stuff now. You can see it over to the patio, which of course they're being worked on. We got a sandbox. Of course, I've never been over here, so everything looks kind of new and different to me. Probably all sorts of spiders under there. Got a shovel. Oh, what is that? Oh, we got some like electricity lines and everything. That is awesome. Oh, so cool. We got a bench, a grill. Like I said, uh, I think it'd be so cool if we could eventually go into the house one day. That'd be pretty awesome. So we have that little light thing there. So awesome. I think I need that juice box, and that's probably the last juice box thing I need to pick up, like to scan. Or whatever. It'd be cool if we could see the spiders from here to know where they are, because I think I need to go over that way more. Maybe that's where the spider is or something. But yeah, I need to just explore. But I'm going to go back to the house now that we've got this done. And I'm going to make that insect thing the bow. That's what I was thinking of. Okay, let's hopefully. I'm going to run and jump. Hopefully I can make it. There we go. Say so make my little weed stem thing. Hopefully can fly out. Try to maybe land right on this rock down here or something. But I'll explore maybe a little bit. Get back to the base and we'll craft up that insect bow. And then maybe go try and find another uh, spider. Which of course I know where plenty of spiders are. But the uh, wolf spiders, and we'll try out the ins or the spider fang dagger. And it's the next morning, and I got the stuff all ready. So let's go ahead in here, and we will craft up our insect bow. So we've got the updated bow now, the tier two bow. Not that we really now have much use of this currently, because I don't use you know bow a bow too often. Usually for short or kind of like longer range distance and everything. Um, so we can store the bow in there. And let's go ahead and store the rest of this stuff away. And now it's time to go, though, find some more spiders. And we can pretty much go back over to where we were. Um, see, I would just want the spider fang. I should have everything. I've only used one bandage so far, so not too bad. I'm going to run back over to where um, kind of went the last time. But up towards the porch, I know there are some spiders, so I will go there and test that area out. Okay, so I've been wandering around and I've been having some issues. Oh no, we're all thirsty. But I've been having some issues finding them. Well, look, you can see the bird there on the bird bath, which is pretty cool. Um, we got an orb weaver. I just thought maybe. So I'm up here. I think there's one down in this cave right underneath me. But I think there's one down in here. Like I said, I'll have to try and get it drawn out. I'm too afraid to go down in there. Currently don't see anything down in here. I don't see uh, its body or anything. It looks really dark. Like, it's cool to get that raw science. But yeah, it's like, where are all the spiders at? Surely there's more than one around. But I'm not finding it anywhere. I may have to run over to the tree then and try that one over there because I'm not finding any others, as you can see. So that's kind of weird and my opinion but I'll just have to keep wandering around I guess until I can find one like so I want it to be kind of open because I don't want to be in a cave and try and fight one because that would terrify me too much but yeah I'll just keep searching around and like I said I'm gonna head to the tree now because I picked up a scab scanner as well so hopefully I'll be able to turn that in but yeah I'll see you at the tree then I guess okay so I'm here at the tree so we've got one in there hopefully there's only one and not multiple I would hope not but let's go ahead and pull out our thing and then we gotta There 
we go. Let's get ready to dance around him. So that was ridiculously fast. Of course I am poisoned and close to dying, but let's go ahead heal up there. With our low health. Should help get us back up now. So that was pretty cool. So that definitely worked really fast. Pretty much I didn't have to worry about stamina at all. I mean I wasn't really paying attention. I stopped there for a second just in case I did. But that was really cool. Being able to kill a spider that fast. There's always ants gathered around a thing over here. It's always crazy to me. Um, since I have this and I feel pretty confident. I don't know what's making that noise. If it's these bugs or what. If it's them making noise. But some just made a weird noise. But let's start kind of wandering up in here. Oh, it sounds like there may be one... This one's super aggressive. There we go. Let's go ahead and put on another bandage because my goodness. He came out of nowhere and kind of surprised me. Like I said, I could hear it, but I just couldn't see it. That was refreshing. Let's go ahead and also... Drink that to help us out some. Let's wait for our health to go all the way up. Because I don't know if there's any signs hiding up in here. There you go. So usually I think there's only about two. Yeah. And that's all I'm really seeing. Yeah, it looks like that's about it. No signs or anything up in here. Let's go hey back. There, buddy. God, that ant scared the crap out of me. But I'm going to go see Burgle now about getting some more tasks and turning in some stuff to him. So here's also a lady bag we can try out the spider thing on. So let's go ahead and block. So not too bad and like I said the easy thing about this is oh my goodness we're inside of everything is with the um one thing like with being able to move real fast and the stamina and everything is you can just keep going and move around it completely and everything so blocking you know for me which is really hard to do for some reason I just can't get it to block properly um, but doing that just makes it easier because I can just pretty much dance around the thing so don't really have too many issues but I hope you enjoyed the episode for today where we ended up getting our uh, spider fang blade and then we also got the insect bow which looks really cool as you can see that they just look super awesome so i hope you enjoyed this episode today if you did be sure to let me know in the comments down below and hit that subscribe button for me if you want to see more now of course starting to run out of stuff to do i still need to unlock a bunch of the like uh, scab stuff so from like burgle getting all the um science and everything so that's pretty much all i have left to do is gather raw science which now that i'm more confident having weapons and stuff to be able to kill like spiders i can go around and find all the raw science and then work on the tasks like i picked up more there so yeah there's just more tasks to do is pretty much it to unlock the raw science stuff is really all i have left in i mean i could build a new base which would be perfectly fine with me um i just gotta decide where i want to build and of course waiting for the new updates to see what's going on with that and where they're going to be expanding next because i think i've got a pretty good location it doesn't take me too long to get anywhere in the game um with this location here so i feel that's pretty good i need to make more trips over to the berry area the bushes there because i gotta explore that whole area so maybe we'll do that next time go explore the berry area see all the spiders and everything going on in there but i think that's gonna be it for today so i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next episode